the last presentation before the panel. Um, so after we looked into trackers, into the modules, and now into packaging, we go to the system size um, and see how um, everything is modeled regarding design and yield. And I'm very happy to introduce uh, Miguel Herrero, who is the market insight and insights analyst at PVKs. It was until recently a colleague of mine at uh, European Solar Sector Association, Solar Power Europe. Happy to have you, Miguel, and looking forward to your presentation. Thanks. Uh, thanks a lot, Michael. Really, really happy to, to be here. Thanks as well to Taiyang for um, inviting us to, to speak about uh, what we're doing in the field of um, simulation of, of yield of uh, solar projects. I think there was a few mentions of uh, PV SYST uh, throughout the, the conference. And I think uh, if PV SYST is interesting and you use it, what we are uh, doing at PV case is going to be uh, hugely relevant to you. One quick point before, before I begin is that we're actually a Lithuanian company, uh, not a Spanish one. I am based in Spain, uh, but, uh, but the company is headquartered uh, there. But um, anyway, so indeed, as you as you all know, we are in the era of terawatt scale uh, solar with no signs of slowing down. In parallel to this huge growth, uh, we're seeing projects becoming more technologically complex uh, at all levels with the increase of use of bifacial modules, as has been shown uh, by previous uh, speakers, but also uh, by a, a, a steep increase in the use of trackers, particularly in certain countries, notably in the USA, but also in, in China and in India and in Spain, where more and more projects use trackers. Another key uh, trend, uh, however, is that this growth has been accompanied by a growth in asset uh, performance uncertainty. And this is because as projects have become more technically complex, the models that we have used to simulate them have not necessarily followed. So what you can see here is a, a study performed by uh, KWH Analytics, a, a US-based solar insurance uh, company who partnered with O&M providers that cover about 30 gigawatts of uh, capacity in the USA. And what they found was that uh, the performance of uh, solar assets has varied widely uh, throughout the years with a, a really high variance in the performance of uh, more or less 10 to 20 percent. But what is even more worrying is that as uh, in addition to this asset um, performance uncertainty, there has been a growing trend towards underperformance with more and more projects, particularly projects built in more recent years, underperforming their P50 estimates. Um, and what is even more worrying, that uh, a growing share of projects are underperforming their P99 uh, estimates. And this is not only happening in the USA, because although there is a distinct lack of research on, on this topic uh, still, uh, there is a similar trend observed uh, in Europe as well. And this is where PV case comes in because today, unfortunately, PV project yield assessments are too often based on, on uh, subjective assessments. And what we are trying to do is to provide you with tools to reduce this uncertainty uh, and to more accurately design uh, your PV projects and particularly uh, improve the way you calculate their yield. So we're a very young company. We're uh, only four years old. Our flagship product, so PV case uh, ground mount, is um, already a household name across the industry. Uh, sorry, just give me a second. I'm trying to see. Yeah. Um, what we're trying to do is really to, to enable the fight against climate change through uh, better, better software by applying technology agile methods to improve the processes linked to the uh, design and engineering of PV projects. So PV case ground mount, which you can see on the animation, is an AutoCAD plugin that streamlines all the tasks required to design your PV project from initial to detailed, uh, including civil and uh, electrical engineering. And it is used by uh, all major developers and EPCs across the world, in addition to 
uh, utilities and tracker manufacturers. In addition to that, we are now developing a tool to enable faster and more precise uh, engineering of uh, roof rooftop systems. I won't spend too much time on this, uh, but just to let you know that if it's of interest of you, we will be launching it uh, later this year. Uh, so do uh, check out our website and sign up for, for the alerts uh, because it's going to make lives of rooftop TV engineers much more easier. Finally, the software that completes our suite of product is PK's Yield, it's, which is a revolutionary yield estimation software, which is fully integrated with our AutoCAD design uh, tool. And the software was launched late uh, last year and is currently in beta testing with some of our clients, but I want to show you a little bit of uh, the features and, and how it works uh, in this presentation. But first, just to let you know that the PK Yield has been developed in partnership with, with IMEC, a world leader in solar cell testing and, and simulation, which developed the ray tracing simulation and physics based models, which underpin our software over the course of 10 years. Um, the inputs for, for the uh, model are quite straightforward. They're the PVK's ground mount uh, design, which includes the plant geometry and can include the electrical layout. And of course, the meteorological data and the OMB and pan files of the equipment that you're using in your, in your plant, in addition, obviously, to the plant location. These inputs inform the, the optical ray tracing uh, and thermal electrical models, which you see here, uh, which have a module level resolution and particularly are optimized to support the simulation of bifacial and tracked uh, systems. And uh, using all of this information, PVK Yields calculates the performance of each string of your PV plant, unlike the, the lumped performance of other simulation tools. And the key to our solution is this integration of the design of the en engineering and the yield assessment processes, which crucially minimize the use of assumptions uh, and empirical inputs, which reduce in turn the, the need for additional human effort and the potential for human error. Um, and because it's fully compatible, you can use yield at any point in your design process, whether it's a really preliminary layout or a very optimized uh, layer that includes electrical uh, design, which enables you to find the optimum between the increase in annual generation or uh, whether or not you want to ensure you limit cost uh, um, overruns. And because we have these physics-based models with module-level resolution, you can use PVK yield to identify problematic uh, areas where there may be inter-row shading, for example, uh, and calculate the cost-benefit analysis of eliminating them in PVK's ground mount by uh, studying the type of ground grading works that are required. And again, these, these models really, what they are really good at is in helping you embrace the complexity of your project while also uh, reducing the computing time because we, we have a um, optimize the, the algorithm to, to work faster and particularly for large scale uh, solar. Uh, so what you can see here is how it, it actually works and you can see how annual solar energy falls on each uh, solar panel and how PVK seal captures the effects of 3D frames, 3D terrain, any arbitrary and horizon shading objects, or the and particularly the albedo effects on the on the output of the plant, all of which are key for you to, to uh, correctly model your bifacial and tracked system. And on top of all of that, we what we offer is a really top-notch uh, and seamless user experience with an intuitive and straightforward interface that improves productivity and helps uh, the users perform more simulations faster without consuming resources on your devices because it is a cloud-based tool. Now, down to the, uh, the um, practical examples and use, use it. 
It is 3D simulation of an equator facing fixed tilt bifacial PV system on a hilly terrain, which we have automatically imported from, from PDK's crown mount. Um, and what PDK's yield, here we have electrical information, is it really calculates all the losses that are incurred in the, in the plant, including the electrical mismatch losses, uh, which are incurred notably uh, in part from, from partial shading of, of, of modules. And you can do this at a very late stage, as I said, which includes the electrical design, but you can do it at any stage of your development and with any plant geometry, because thanks to these physics-based models, once you design something, what if and if you can design something in PDK's ground mount or AutoCAD, you can put it into yield uh, and it will provide you with correct estimates without the need for any additional adjustments. Like for example, in, in this case where we simulate an east-west vertical bifacial PV system on a flat surface. Now this design is in an early design stage where we have not yet introduced the electrical design for the system. As a result, we are not really seeing a lot of uh, electrical uh, losses, but I want to draw your attention to the bifaciality losses uh, here at the top, which uh, include notably quite high bifaciality losses incurred from the use from the simulation using uh, PERC modules, uh, but also the front and back shading uh, losses, uh, in addition to the reflection losses incurred from this being a, a vertical set uh, system and there being a suboptimal incidence uh, angle. And this is a key point that I want to underline is that if you can design a system in PDK's ground mount, you can input it into yield and get informa the information that you need on your project. Now, one step further, um, if we introduce topography on the previous design, we can perform a loss assessment uh, on, on the terrain of the terrain on, on the by facial generation. So the topography that we have introduced is an east facing slope in which the front side of the panel is facing uh, west and therefore uh, downhill. When you compare this with the flat reference uh, scenario, you can see the effects of slope and the row to row shading. Notably that the back shading losses are, are lower because they're less affected from row to row shading where the front shading losses are higher. And because of the higher bifaciality factor, uh, of the lower bifaciality factor, sorry, of these uh, modules, we also observe a higher bifaciality loss because the backside of the module is the one that is more exposed to the, to the sun. And ultimately, as you can see in the bottom of this slide, is, is that this type of obviously suboptimal uh, design would yield a lower specific yield than the reference uh, case. And what this shows is how is the importance of making your models as realistic as possible to account for any potential losses as early on, because this will improve your ability to make the right decisions for your project. And this is something I really, really want to show you. I mean, there's been a lot of uh, tracker manufacturers uh, talking about, about their, their smart backtracking algorithms. You can already simulate tracked systems in PVK seal, but what we're working on right now is on developing our very own smart backtracking uh, algorithms uh, that are also terrain uh, aware. And this is what you can see on this in this simulation. Um, because, because we have this module level resolution, our terrain aware backtracking is able to adapt the position of each individual tracker to ensure that shade avoidance, notably on the bifacial modules, or and maximize the output of the, of the entire system, even with complex terrains. And as I said, this is still in, in production because we're developing a lot of different types of uh, simulation using different smart tracking algorithms to explore different uh, possibilities. But if you'd like to know more, don't, don't hesitate to, to get in touch and, and we'll be happy to have a call with you. But to recap, the integration with, of the different elements of our suite offers our, our clients a really 
big opportunity to accelerate their engineering processes. On one side, you have PBK's grand mount, which facilitates all the tasks required to, to design a PV asset uh, and helps your, you and your, your team in the uh, more efficiently plan and, and design and optimize your projects. And crucially, uh, it's fully integrated with our yield simulation tool, which provides more realistic simulations based on physics-based models. And thanks to our machine learning algorithms, we reduce the time needed to carry out the simulations, um, and which are much better at uh, modeling and simulating plants where backtracking albedo effects are central components of your, of your plant. And then these two processes, two sides of the same coin, your design costs and your projected revenues, integrate to generate a digital twin in, in which yield emerges as a key design variable that you and your teams can use to better design your PV project uh, and improve your decision making. Uh, and ultimately, uh, for you and your investors, reduce the risk uh, associated with, uh, with that project. Because by increasing the information contained within the, the models, we provide more realistic results. And uh, yeah, um, I hope that was clear. Uh, don't hesitate to get in touch if you'd like to, to know more. And, and I look forward to any questions. Thanks. Thanks, Miguel. Exciting. Um, I see that your colleague uh, Nerios is already very active on the chat, uh, answering questions. Maybe you want to join. <laughs> Great. Um, Will do. Okay, wonderful. Thanks a lot. So then.